Hey guys, how you doing? Um, during this video, I'm going to talk about four reasons why you should not be selling privately. You shouldn't not be selling as a for sale by owner. Now it's the springtime and I realize many of you are going to choose to sell your home privately and I do respect your decision. Although before you do, I do proceed, just take into consideration some of these points. Firstly, the reason why you should not be selling privately is because marketing your home online really is not as easy as you think. In today's age, buyers are starting their search online they're going to be looking online and for you the more exposure your listing has the more likely you're going to sell for the right price and sell quickly with the least amount of stress so superstar agents like myself we know how to market your property we know the whole process so we will understand where to post your listing how to post it what keywords to post to attract the most buyers. And something that my sellers really appreciate is I actually track the metrics so we can see how many clicks their listing is getting, how many times their listing has been, has been favorited each week, and so on. The second reason why you shouldn't be selling privately is because setting these appointments really is an inconvenience. Unless you're at home all day and you don't mind being on the phone, booking appointments, dealing with canceled showings, I would really recommend that you do at least speak to an agent and learn how the process works. I mean, if I look at my phone just in the past two hours and I'm shooting this video at nine o'clock, I've been on the phone with six agents. So we're all here responsible for booking the appointments. We're here for rescheduling them and we're here to answer all their questions. So keep in mind that showings, they will really be a drag and all these inquiries you'll be answering to are really something that you do want to avoid. And the third thing is that the paperwork can really, really be tricky. Unless you're somebody that's either a real estate lawyer or you have experience as a real estate assistant that's had a lot of experience looking over offers and clauses, you're very likely uninformed of the whole process. Having an accepted offer is only half the battle. In today's market, very surprising things come up. A lot of buyers change their bind. You wanna make sure that your agent really knows how to guide you from the time that you accept an offer and the time that you actually move out of the property, right? Um, you are at full responsibility if anything goes wrong. For example, if you're a seller and you fail to disclose any particulars, it really could come back and bite you, which we do want to avoid. And the fourth reason is, of course, that for sale by owners sell for less. There are several studies that they've conducted on this, although I don't really feel that there's anyone too appropriate for our Toronto market. There was a study done in Wisconsin. There was a study done in 2015, and they show all sorts of numbers. We've seen studies that show for sale by owners sell for 20% less. We've seen for sale by owner studies that show they sell at 15% less than what they would have gotten with a real estate agent. But I would say based on my experience and just speaking with people, being in the market every single day, working hard, I would guess that they sell somewhere around 10 to 12% below market value. So if you're considering selling privately, thinking that you'll get more money because you wouldn't have to pay a commission, you will really regret it once you realize that if you hired a superstar agent, even after paying all the fees, you will get more money in your pocket. I hope all that information was helpful. Um, if you can think of anyone that can use my help, call me, call me, call me. It's Michael Dougal. My number is 416-671-5218. Uh, if you can think of anyone that may as well find this information helpful, just forward the email to them or copy and paste the YouTube link, send that to them. Don't forget to click like. If you're on YouTube, click subscribe. And again, if you're thinking of selling or buying, call me, call me, call me. I will get the job done. I'll work my back off until your home sells or until you buy successfully. And I'll look forward to seeing you all next time.